from the Osaka Expo. Explore more of Japan. Isolated scenic beauty, revealing Chugoku and Shikoku sustainable treasures. Wow, that is very amazing. I read that there's about 700 islands in the Setoichi area and a focus on sustainability. Momoshima is a remote island in Hiroshima Prefecture, nestled in the Seto Inland Sea. It's about 12 kilometers in circumference, a quick 25-minute high-speed boat ride from Onomichi port. First things first, I want to try the local delicacy here. Yes, I can't wait to taste the fish from the Seto Inland Sea. You will be fishing from this kayak. <laughs> We're fishing from here? That's fishing. Oh. <laughs> really? What a crazy experience. <laughs> I have hardly ever fished, never mind from a kayak. So delicious. The food culture here is truly unique. The whole Setoichi region feels so warm and connected to the sea. How was your day? Because for me, fishing was a blast, really. I can see that Setoichi really embraces sustainable living. And I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings in Ozu. Cycling? Yeah. Cheers. The cycling road spans about 60 kilometers, linking Onomichi City in Hiroshima Prefecture to Amabari City in Ehime Prefecture. It crosses the Sito Inland Sea via seven bridges. The air here is filled with the scent of sea breeze and lemons. This island produces the largest amount of lemons in Japan, earning it the nickname of Lemon Island. Facing the Seto Inland Sea and the Shikoku Mountains, Ozu City's grid pattern townhouses surround Ozu Castle, creating a historic streetscape. You can really feel the historical atmosphere in this castle town. Ozu City is internationally recognized as a green destination, a sustainable tourist spot. Yeah. While walking, we met Diego, originally from Spain. He's involved in local community development. So what's your vision about tourism here? Well, I see tourism as a tool to revitalize, actually, the town. But the ultimate goal is uh, to bring back life into town. So we really need to enhance the community and eventually bring in more people back. How was it today? They're preserving tradition and investing in the next generation of Ozu. How about cycling? They had exceeded all of my expectations. I heard indigo dyeing is very popular here. The color is called Japan Blue and it's unique to Japan. So many indigo dyed products. I would love to try indigo dyeing myself. Sure, you can try here. Oh! <laughs> I can't believe that this beautiful blue comes from indigo dye. Actually, what is this? Uh, this is skumo from the Ainoha plant. Indigo leaves are dried, fermented, and composted to create the dye. The Yoshino River, one of Japan's three most powerful rivers, 
floods and enriches the soil, making it ideal for indigo. Nature here produces this unique indigo. The earthy smell of the indigo dye is so nice and natural. Yeah, this is truly Japanese art. Built in 1763, it's the largest samurai residence in Japan. The hearth adds such a great atmosphere. Hope that this tradition is passed down through the generations forever. <laughs> it looks delicious. Bon appétit. This trip really changed my impression of Japan. Experiencing authentic, sustainable tourism is so refreshing.